many people have suggested, the Disturbed Hiatus is over. Brand new single entitled The Vengeful One that just dropped today. Brand new album entitled Immortalized, uh, which is coming on August the 21st. The last time we heard it from these guys was from, well, either Asylum, which was four years ago, or The Lost Children, which is a B-Sides and Rarities collection that came out shortly after that. Either way, it's been a while. Now, we've heard from David Draymond a lot ever since then. We heard uh, that the Vice album, which wasn't all that good, but uh, we've also become very familiar with Caps Lock Hero, but it's not why we're here, so sit tight. The Vengeful One as a single. Man, I can't believe it's been four years since we've heard something from Disturbed. And it definitely shows that there's a little bit of a morphing that's going on within this band. There's a little bit of an evolutionary process that has taken place within that time frame because this is a song that certainly showcases a, some of the band's uh, better sides to them uh, while also showcasing a couple of new feats, a couple of new tricks. Uh, the first thing that I'll mention is right from the get-go, and the music video couples with this idea nicely, Right from the get-go, you had this very strange sensation to call this Disturbs version or Disturbs take on a Judas Priest opening, a Judas Priest opening riff, opening period. Just the way that it has that sort of soft, very, uh, you know, drum-centered intro that slowly gets more bombastic over time, and then that that riff that has kind of a very basic property to it, but it's one of those things that gets your fist going in the air. It gets you hyped up for the track. It actually is something that paints the picture very, very nicely. And I think about Judas Priest not only because of the music video uh, during this moment you see the guy uh, riding a motorcycle, but it's also based around the fact that it kind of has that classic Priest feel to it. The fact that Priest was able to make so much happen out of a riff idea that, was, that started off very simple. You know, they were able to turn something that was at its root very basic into something that was over the top and very easily relatable, either that or just a bona fide headbanger. Disturbed does their best take on this, and the video couples with this song so nicely that it actually adds a dynamic that you may not have gotten just from the audio alone, so I highly recommend you checking out the video. I have a link for it below. But this is a track that seems that is all about uh, our world as it stands right now and today, and the fact that the vengeful one is one that sort of represents uh, somebody who has returned, who has vengeance on their minds, and has returned to a world that is very different than the world that he left. I really enjoy the idea, I like the concept, and overall this is a track that is able to really play off of a lot of the strengths that Disturbed has in order to make that concept reality. But the one thing that is also prevalent is a little bit of a shift in songwriting with the bridge directly before the chorus. I think that there has been a great learning process from these four years for this band. I feel that them going off and sort of doing their own thing has actually brought them back together with a more collective sense of style and a more collective sense of, of different tools that they could offer in their arsenal. Unlike, say, Five Finger Death Punch, which we just reviewed about a week ago with Jekyll and Hyde, where it felt like instead of adding something new to their arsenal and bringing something new and different to the table, they actually just kind of gotten a little bit lazy with their writing and expected that the single would just fly off the shelves. I feel that the Vengeful One has a little bit more of the way of punch to it because it has a little bit more of a creative edge to it. It has a little bit more zest to it, and it has a little bit more of a freshness to it. Uh, this is not something that is cookie cutter and cut and dry all the way through, although it does follow a, a very expected chorus verse chorus verse idea with the bridge being something that separates the chorus from verse, but it's only that of about one or two lines. But it's a nice enough deviation where even with this formulaic approach, it has it's moments where it kind of builds you and hypes you and develops you, gets you ready uh, for the power of the chorus. This is going to be a great song, I think, for a lot of people to hear live. I wouldn't be, exp I would not be surprised if this was something that started off a lot of shows uh, in the future, just simply because of kind of the theme that this song goes for and kind of the idea and theme that a return from a hiatus really goes for it. Kind of that whole idea of we are back 
and we are better than ever or more pissed off than ever. Overall, I actually kind of dig this song. I think this song has a lot to offer, but I want to know what you guys think about The Vengeful One by Disturbed. Like I said, the link is below, so if you haven't heard it yet, I realize that this is pretty early, uh, then definitely go and check it out and let me know what you think. What do you think about the start coming back? What do you think about Immortalized, which is coming out on August the 21st? I'm not sold on the title yet, but that's just me. Are you sold on the title? Are you sold on The Vengeful One? Tell me in the comments below, and we'll talk again next time.